Subaru introduced on-demand four-wheel drive in the 1975 model year, followed by full-time all-wheel drive in 1987. By 1998, all Subaru models came standard with symmetrical all-wheel drive. With over 40 years of experience providing traction and control, Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive is now world-renowned. Unlike some systems, Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive is designed to provide traction to all four wheels all the time, sending engine power to the wheels with the best grip. That gives Subaru models a real advantage over two-wheel drive cars. While many automakers now offer some type of all-wheel drive system, not all systems are alike. We've designed a series of tests to find out just how well Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive compares to other all-wheel drive systems. The test rig consists of an incline ramp with four sets of rollers. Each set of rollers can be locked to simulate dry pavement. Or the rollers can freewheel, simulating ice or a similar low friction surface. Note that we do not have the engineering details from other manufacturers on how these competitive all-wheel drive systems work. That information is understandably proprietary. But with these evaluations, we can measure the performance of select competitive systems against Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive. So let's start with a 2016 Subaru Outback 3.6R with Lineartronic CVT and active all-wheel drive. As it's first positioned on the incline rollers, the Outback's rear wheels are on dry pavement, while the front wheels are on simulated ice, with the rollers freewheeling so there is very little, if any, traction available. With just a bit of throttle and some initial wheel spin, the Outback easily climbs up the ramp, transferring power from the front wheels to the rear wheels, that is, the wheels with the most grip. In the next exercise, the Outback is positioned on the ramp with the front wheels on locked rollers, which simulates traction. The rear wheels, however, are now on simulated ice. As the test driver accelerates, power is redirected from the rear wheels to the front wheels. As you can see, the Outback climbs the ramp with virtually no visible wheel spin. Now the Outback has been moved back, so we can lock the rollers on the driver's side and release the rollers on the passenger side. This simulates ice on both of the passenger side wheels, while both of the driver's side wheels are on simulated dry pavement. Look carefully at the split-screen view to see the action. To show just how versatile symmetrical all-wheel drive is, in this next exercise, we're simulating a diagonal traction situation where the driver's side front wheel and the passenger side rear wheel are on simulated dry pavement, while the other two tires are on simulated ice. One of the toughest all-wheel drive challenges is to determine if the Outback can climb up the ramp when only a single wheel has traction. In this case, the driver's side front wheel. The other three wheels are on simulated ice. After a moment for the system to sense the traction requirements at the wheels, the Outback easily climbs the ramp, even under these challenging conditions. Now let's look at a 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo with its optional Quadratrack 1 4x4 system. As before, the rear wheels are on dry pavement, while the front wheels are on simulated ice. You can see the Jeep system spinning the front wheels but it cannot transfer enough power to the rear wheels to climb the ramp. In this low traction situation, the Jeep Grand Cherokee cannot match the Outback. Now let's see how the 2016 Legacy 2.5i with active all-wheel drive handles this same exercise, with the rear wheels on dry pavement and the front wheels on simulated ice. As you can see, the Legacy climbs up the ramp easily. As we continue with Legacy, we'll simulate the front wheels on dry pavement and the rear wheels on ice. And the Legacy climbs up the ramp without any drama. In fact, Legacy can handle all the same exercises as Outback, including this last one. With only the driver's side front wheel on simulated dry pavement, while the other three wheels are on a very low friction surface. Keep in mind that this is on an incline ramp, not a flat surface so it accentuates the strengths and weaknesses of each vehicle's all-wheel drive systems. Now let's look at a legacy competitor, the 2015 Ford Fusion. This is a top-of-the-line Fusion Titanium with optional all-wheel drive. We'll start with the rear wheels on dry pavement 
while the front wheels are on simulated ice. The Fusion handles this exercise fairly easily. Let's see how it handles the other tests. Here the front wheels have traction, but we've simulated ice at the rear wheels. And the Fusion climbs up the ramp again. So, in these two front-to-rear exercises, the Fusion did pretty well. Now let's get to the more difficult side-to-side -side exercises. In this case, with the driver's side wheels on simulated drive pavement and the passenger side wheels on simulated ice, the Fusion is definitely spinning its wheels, trying to gain traction, but it never quite makes it. The last exercise with the Fusion is with only a single wheel having traction, in this case the driver's side front wheel. You can see the three wheels on simulated ice trying to gain some forward momentum, but in the end, the Fusion fails this test. Next, let's look at the 2015 XV Crosstrek Hybrid. This Subaru model also has active all-wheel drive and the Linear Tronic CVT. With the front wheels on simulated ice and the rear wheels on dry pavement, the XV Crosstrek Hybrid's all-wheel drive system takes just a moment to assess the traction requirements, and then the car climbs up the ramp. The next scenario is with the front wheels on simulated drive pavement and the rear wheels on simulated ice, and the XV Crosstrek Hybrid easily climbs up the ramp. Now we'll skip to the most difficult test, with only a single wheel having traction. With just the driver's side front wheel having traction, the XV Crosstrek Hybrid easily climbs up the ramp. Next, let's look at a competitor from Kia. The Sportage, with its optional full-time all-wheel drive with electronic control on demand. With traction on the rear wheels, but simulated ice on the front wheels, the Sportage climbs the ramp. Next, we reverse the situation and give the front wheels traction, but place the rear wheels on simulated ice. So far, the Sportage seems to be doing well. In the next exercise, we'll try just one side on simulated ice, in this case, the passenger side. Here, as you can see, the Sportage cannot handle this side-to-side -side traction split. And now we'll go to the hardest test, with only the driver's side front wheel having traction and the other three wheels on simulated ice. And the Sportage is not going to make it. Next, let's see how the 2016 Forester 2.0 XT handles the rollers test. This model is equipped with a Sport Linear Tronic CVT and the turbocharged 2-liter boxer engine. With traction only available at the rear wheels, the Forester climbs easily. The next scenario is traction on the front wheels while the rear wheels are on simulated ice, and the Forester again climbs the ramp. With traction on the driver's side front and rear wheels, and simulated ice on both the passenger side wheels, the Forester also climbs the ramp with just a moment of wheel spin to sense which wheels can receive the engine's power and split diagonally with the passenger side front and driver side rear wheels on simulated ice, the Forester climbs up nicely. Now for the last exercise, the difficult single wheel with traction test. Only the driver side front wheel has any traction to climb this ramp, and the Forester passes this final test. Let's look at another competitor, the Nissan Rogue equipped with optional intuitive all-wheel drive starting as always with the rear wheels on dry pavement and the front wheels on simulated ice. The Rogue climbs easily. Next, the front wheels will have traction and the rear wheels will be on simulated ice. And the Nissan Rogue also passes this test. When we split the traction side to side, however, just as we saw with the Kia Sportage, the Nissan Rogue appears to struggle and cannot climb the ramp. For the diagonal test, with the driver side front and passenger side rear wheels with traction, while the other two opposite wheels are on simulated ice, we see the same result. The Rogue cannot climb the ramp. And since it failed the last two tests, as you might conclude, the Rogue could not pass the single wheel with traction test. Last, we'll look at the WRX STI with the most performance oriented all wheel drive system. Variable torque distribution all-wheel drive with driver-controlled center differential. 
the DCCD switch will be in auto mode. Because this car has a manual transmission, the test driver has to exercise careful control of clutch engagement. Let's see how the WRX STI performs with the rear wheels on drive pavement and the front wheels on simulated ice. And the WRX STI climbs easily. Next, the front wheels will have traction while the rear wheels are on simulated ice, presenting no problem to the WRX STI. Now, both the passenger side wheels are on simulated ice, while both the driver side wheels have traction. Again, all the driver controls are set on automatic, and as you can see, the WRX STI climbs easily. The difficult diagonal test is next with only the driver side front and passenger side rear wheels having traction. Another easy pass for the WRX STI. And the last and hardest test of all, with only a single wheel having traction. The WRX STI aces this test as well. As these tests illustrate, whether the Subaru model is a crossover utility vehicle, a sedan, or a hatchback, or as we saw with the WRX STI, a high-performance sports sedan, Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive always sends engine power to the wheels with the most grip. None of the competitors tested could match that feat. It's no wonder that for the past 10 years, Legacy is the best-selling all-wheel drive sedan in America, and Outback and Impreza are the best-selling all-wheel drive vehicles in their respective segments. Based on these evaluations, you can be confident telling your customers about the exceptional traction provided by Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive and describing the kind of confidence and control they will experience behind the wheel of a new Subaru vehicle.